we will reinforce the concept of application servers by looking at a few actual application servers. The first one we will recall is the database application server uh, which is implemented as follows. We will have a server and a client, we call it C and the S, uh, to implement an SQL server in this case which would be the database server we need a network operating system first. On the client side, we need a client operating system. Uh, this could be the 2003 server in the case of Windows. This could be the XP. And on top of it, we need a backend server. That's what we call it. We can use an SQL server from Microsoft. Uh, this incidentally, the uh, Microsoft server. We call this the back end server and we also need a front end we could have a an application developed using visual basic that could be the front end or we could use for that matter the office suite of software as the front end at this stage therefore uh, one needs to get the idea that when you implement an application server in addition to the basic operating systems that are these two ones here, we also need a backend application server and a front end tool. Here is another example. Uh, in this case, uh, let's look at a web server. This again is an application server. We have a client here. We have a server. Again, we need a network operating system, 2003 server. We need an application server, in this case it's a web server, uh, which would be the internet information server from Microsoft. On the client side, we need a client operating system, which is the XP, and we need a front end. In this case, the front end is the browser, which could be Internet Explorer 6. So again, you get the concept here of an application server. So this is the back end web server, and this is the front end client. Now let's look at a third example here. In this case we are looking at a mail server or more than mail, a uh, messaging server. So let's uh, call this a messaging server which is an application server. This is the third example we are looking at. And on this side we have the client. On this side we have the server. Once again the network operating system is uh, Windows uh, 2003 server, client operating system, we can call it the XP here, and we need an application server here, which would be Microsoft Exchange server. This is the backend application server. So what would be the front end for this? Uh, front end, of course, could be the Microsoft Outlook. This is the front end client. So we have this front end client for this back end server. This again is an example of the implementation of an application server. Finally, here is a fourth example which is the file transfer application server. How do we set this up? Again, the same procedure is taken. We have a server, we have a client here, XP. And in this case, we have a 2003 server. Uh, we could also implement, in this case, something called an FTP server. Incidentally, the FTP server comes as part of the Windows 2000 server operating system. Uh, it was also the case in the case of the previous uh, example where we implemented a web server. We used the Internet Information Server that comes as part of the Windows 2003 uh, server operating system. Likewise, the FTP server, this is the backend server, also comes as part of the, of the uh, Windows 2003 server operating system. Now, what is the front end? In this case, uh, uh, we may not need a front end, or we need a front end, but we can do without one. How is that possible? We can use FTP commands at the command prompt to download and upload information from the FTP server. We could, on the other hand, use the browser to do the same, to upload and download information from the FTP server. 
but many a times we usually have a FTP client. An example in this case is Qt FTP which is a GUI based, GUI means graphical user interface based FTP client that makes uh, the uploading and downloading of information from an FTP server uh, very convenient. So here is the fourth example which is a backend file transfer server that interacts with the front end client. Uh, this example concludes uh, some application examples of the application server architecture implementation.